And Uber is also hoping to win over Chinese consumers. After some successful tryouts, their official entry into the China market has intensified the competition in the car booking business there. Chung Tao has more. Paul Hu is from Taiwan and grew up in the United States. He has been running a wine import business in Shanghai for two and a half years now. And although he has a driver himself, he still orders Uber service when he wants to look good in front of clients. A lot of times we have clients that visit us from different provinces or wineries that visit us from the U.S. Um, we tend to call Uber uh, for more higher-end clients or people that are visiting us from out of country. Uber's service in China is very different from the U.S., where most of the company's drivers are private car owners. And the service itself is competing with taxes. In China, tax services are provided only by government-licensed companies. The Uber drivers in China are actually employed by car rental companies. Uber charges them a commission fee. And the ride isn't cheap. In Shanghai, for example, if people use an Uber card, they will pay about 50 percent more of them for a taxi ride. So we went to the same providers who provide five-star hotels with their transportation to the airport or their day trips where you have a chauffeur who uh, wears a suit, has water in the car, newspaper in the car, you know, treats people like VIPs. Uh, and we create a platform that makes that possible for anybody to use when they want. In the United States, Uber targets more the general public, though it charges a little bit more than taxis. But in China, the Uber model only targets high-end clients, and such clients are more likely to book business cars in advance, rather than just hailing a taxi-like car on the street. Uber's China model has led it into competition with local online car rental companies like China Auto Rental and Ehi. To compete against them, Uber has come up with some new ideas of its own. It is now partnering with event organizers to provide high-end transportation options for people going to clubs, football games and restaurants. Even dating websites are using Uber. The company is also rolling out special one-day events to attract users.